1123 on this Thursday. That means that Eric Raditz from Florida Weekly is here. Eric, thank you very much. Pleasure to be here. The knuckle bump to begin as always. <laughs> knuckle bump starts and knuckle bump finishes sometimes. That's right. Well, you're going to have to wait a couple minutes okay. for that. All right. Uh, we're talking about <laughs> CBD. A lot of athletes are getting in on this. Rob Gronkowski with the New England Patriots is really a big proponent for it. Um, what's the deal? Does it really heal you or is it kind of... Uh, Phony. Well, was, there might be a little both to that. Uh, so this week we are all about three words, CBD. Wait, that's th just three letters. Uh, <laughs> but it's important because we do see it everywhere. We see it on sale all over the place. Who can sell it? Uh, with a medicinal marijuana card, you can get it uh, with some THC. But even without a medicinal marijuana card, it is legal because they're extracted from cannabis without the THC and thus available for whoever wants it. So what is it good for? What is it infused into? What products can you get it? What restaurants can you go get some right now? Uh, we take a good long look at it and we have the truth about CBD in this week's Florida Weekly, so pick it up. Righty, good read there. <laughs> yeah. Very timely, as always. Yeah. Um, okay, so business section, we're talking about brand mistakes that companies regularly make. And it's something that everyone does, even the biggest companies. And we found out when it comes to branding, there's a certain way to go. And there's a certain way not to go. And we happen to find that there are <laughs> mistakes across the board. Uh, it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to learn from mistakes. And it's also okay to learn from other people's mistakes, which is what we do in this week's business section. How do you want to brand your business? How important is it that you have a certain look or a feel? Uh, we get some tips so that you can make sure that you're branding appropriately. I think the key thing with branding is just to be authentic. Well, uh, you and I both. Yeah. Just be you. All right, well, uh, we have a pretty authentic musician here, Kat Apple. I believe I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, she's done some pretty big things, but she kind of just stays local. And, and, and in person, she's very understated. Although if you go out about and about town to any of these nonprofit parties or big ex ex experiences, she'll often find her in the corner playing a flute or two. Uh, she, our Stephanie Davis sits down with her, gets an intimate look, an exclusive look at stories that you'll get to, from nowhere else, from her brushes with Rauschenberg, uh, her enjoyment with uh, Arts for Act, her successes of her albums, her being world renowned, and oh yeah, there's some Emmys too. So uh, find out all about Cat Apple uh, in this week's Four Weekly's Arts and Entertainment. Of course, top picks. What's top, going on? Well, everything's going on. Uh, if you're not sure what to do, pick up Florida Weekly because we have a full calendar of events. There's something for everybody. I will say that Dane Cook at the Barber B. Man Performing Arts Hall, uh, that's a, uh, excuse me, September 26th. We got Disturbed in town, 90s pop star Tiffany. Uh, there's Peace Day coming out. Find out where you can celebrate Peace Day. Uh, we have the Songwriters Festival, as you mentioned earlier. We focus on Gabriel McAfee, who's playing down at the Twisted Vine, once on Broadway Palm Theater. Oh man, it's getting to be season, so there's plenty, there's no excuse. If you want to get out, you have plenty to do. Definitely a lot of fun options right there. Dane Cook, that definitely would be good. I don't know Tiffany. You know any Tiffany songs? Uh, I think she remade, I think we're alone now. I'm pretty sure okay. I'm aging myself because it's a 90s <laughs> hit. But if you love Tiffany, you'll be excited to know that you can go see her. All right. Right here in Southwest Florida. Pick us up online on stands for a ton of stuff to do. Sounds Free. good. Eric Raddatz. Andrew the Knuckle Bump. There you go. Can't forget that. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks, Nate. Thanks, Amanda.